truck first? Yep, the truck one, the truck's the first one we're doing, bud. Okay. No, I'll cut it up. This truck is the 2014 F-150. This has been the best-selling truck the last three, seven years. And to me, it's the best-selling truck, and I'll show you why. First of all, you know, for the front, because it has a tow package, you do have your trans cooler right here. Our radiator is 19.7 quarts, the biggest one on the market, most competitive, the 17 quarts. Before it did, they tied the front end together with a um, bar right here. And in 2004, they went to a complete box frame. As you see down here, part of the, the box frame. So, God forbid, a front end collision and help veer the force out around the truck. You got your fuses right here. This one is the um, 6.2 liter V8. It's got 411 horsepower. Because of the tow package, you also have a bigger battery and a bigger alternator. For safety also, you got your filter comfort zone here and up here, so the front end will just pyramid. Also, uh, behind the front end, you got the <coughs> white steel. It helps deaden the sound going into the cab of the vehicle. Also, coming on over here, nice big headlights. And it's got H HID lights. They give you a brighter and wider view at night. The Ford has is uh, the metal is made out of uh, the frame is made out of boron steel, lightest and heaviest metal on the market. What Ford has is, is the inner fender, all part of the frame. Down here, we have the biggest couple of control arms in the market. You got four wheel disc brakes all the way around and four wheel EBS standard. Right here on the uh, rotors, they're uh, they're vented so they cool down a lot faster. And by the air uh, generated by the uh, the design of the wheel, helps cool this a lot down a lot faster. Coming over here, you have breakaway mirrors. And then this, when you turn the light and the signal on, this, this lights up. Also, people behind, also with this light lights up also. 2011, we're incorporating this blind spot mirror right here. So when you're changing lanes, you just look in your mirror right here to see if you buy any blind spot. Ford has, uh, again, boron steel beams here and here. So when you side collision, it helps to protect intrusion into the cab. Ford went to this body design in 2004, meaning that you've got good visibility on your mirrors. You've got a nice large mirror right here. 2012, Ford incorporated this uh, keyless entry. She so locked the keys into the vehicle. We spent the code and locked the door. And because this is the platinum, which is the top of the line, as you see you as you open the door, the running board came out to easy access into the vehicle. Also with the platinum, you got the little wood accent on the doors. The, this window and this window, one touch down, one touch up. You got your mirrors right here. And also they do the power full. And then also power back out again. And do you have your uh, uh, heater on, hot air comes through the pole to the wood jam right here and clean your side windows right here for you. Also you have on the platinum you got your power seat, power back, power low bar, and remember you see two different drivers. And on the string wheel, you do have a the power pedals that comes out three inches so anybody short you bring the pedals up to you so not on top of the string wheel. And then over here, Ford has the largest Interior but for the second row. And when you fold both seats up, you got 55 cubic feet of cargo area. Also, it's a nice, another nice feature, these little plastic hooks right here. So she had the plastic bags. You can just hook them right here so stuff's not all flopping around. 
And you see back here, you have a 120 uh, power volt, anything three prong, you can plug in right there, as well as your 12 volt power point right there. Also, you got rear air access coming from the back. Also, you got Chelsea <coughs> feathers right here for the baby seats. And then these back uh, headrests will fall down for no, blocking your view. This also has a uh, power sliding back window, which you control from the front. 2010, Ford Incorporated, what's called Easy Fuel. They adapted it from the NASCAR, so you know you just put the nozzle in, pull it out, and it automatically seals. Because of the, uh, you know, the, the click, then the check engine light will come on, and you got to take it to the dealer and get it reset. Back here, our box frame continues. The Ford did. They put the shocks on the outside of the frame to give you better handling and stability. Mm -hmm. As you can see, the, the shock bracket is right here. The bolt goes right through the bracket, so it gives you a lot uh, stronger frame. Spring leaves are three inches wide. The same with these are heavy duty trucks. And our bed depth is 22 inches compared to 20 inches on the competition. Yeah. This one has a backup camera and also a backup sensor. So anything within six feet would beep, beep, beep. When you get about a foot and a half, then it'll be a solid beep. This tailgate is very lightweight and it's uh, spring assisted. As you can see, the uh, bolts on the bed are four inches long, bolt right down to the frame, whereas the competition only uses like two, two bolts right to a bracket on the frame. As you can see, the Bed has a double wall construction and then little notches so you can put like a uh, two by six across here, across here, plywood so you can carry two, two different things. As well as you can see the slots, you can put there again the board there so you can carry two different types of things back here. Oh. Back here on, uh, you got a class street uh, tool package as well as your seven-way and your four-way for your lights. This right here, you took the key, unlock it in order to uh, lower your spare tire for the key shape of flat. And with the platinum, we got the nice polished uh, chrome strip right here. Platinum on the back. On the F-150, with this uh, 4.6, 4.2, 6.2 V8, this is the mileage that the government says you can get, so overall average is about 15. This is all standard stuff. This is the additional uh, accessories on the, on the truck. And then uh, the 20 inch polished wheels and the, uh, and the 355 rear end, uh, electronic uh, locking rear axle meaning that you can tow about maybe 100 pounds of this truck. And with this, um, brings the price to $50,945. And the, the government uh, rates it as the top safety pick. And this, this uh, truck scored four stars out of five. And the rollover uh, is four stars, and we're the only one in the market on the truck that has the four stars on the rollover. If you wouldn't mind, just uh, hop in and go over with these stuff on the inside. Nice work. Yeah. Talk to you about hands, huh?